It has been too long since Forza Motorsport 7, and we were wondering when was Microsoft finally going to release this highly anticipated reboot. And now we have it on Game Pass, PC, Xbox Series X and S, and these are my thoughts. Hi everybody, it's your boy Gene from Grey Matter Games, and I am back with another review, and we're going to be covering Forza Motorsports that released earlier this week. I've been playing non-stop for the past basically week to be honest every single day and these are my quick thoughts this video is going to be short because to be quite honest this review is going to sound very similar to my gt7 video that i did a little bit over a year ago look link above and you'll check it out and you'll see that the review is virtually the same so there are people who are going to say gt7 is better than forza people are going to say forza is better than gt7 if you see my gt7 review you know i love gt7 but i'm a forza fan as well so i'm in the middle i don't say one's better than the other i call it how it is so this is where forza stacks up the cars look real the cars sound real the performance feels real the way the weather impacts the races makes a very big difference in how you're going to perform in that said race the ai gets very aggressive depending on the difficulty you set it as but the risk versus reward is definitely worth it you, the cleaner the race I feel the more points you earn and the more money you earn overall in each race. That allows you to have a smooth transition into buying any car you want in this game, which <laughs> has a very large library of cars, which you'll see at the very end of the video. Um, but one thing I really like is that they went with this RPG element and where you have to stick with this one car you chose and you have to basically level it up so you can constantly unlock upgrades for that said car and once you feel like it's it, enough is enough and you want to move to the next car rinse and repeat you got to grind out that other car i personally like it i know a lot of people don't but you know it's each their own um graphically it's doing a good job you know graphically this game is next gen right now it's pc uh footage that you're seeing because i don't have a capture card but i've played it on my xbox console if you have a series x it's 4k 30 quality and kind of 1440p 60 for performance if you are on the series s it's 1440p 30 and 1080p 60 and the upscaling on the series s is pretty good overall for tv so overall it, it, it's very good it's very 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 good one of the few games that look amazing on the series s um there are some gripes here there are some frame dips i will admit to that but that's something that can be patched with with a quality of life updates here and there but it usually happens when there's a lot of crowds in the stands um that, at least that's what i think gt7 and forza are very similar this time around it's very hard to distinguish the difference the only thing i can say right away art style there are some circuits that look better in forza than gt7 and vice versa gt7 looks better than forza in some of the tracks um, some of the night events look a little too dark that it's too real on GT7, so the visibility is limited. Whereas Forza, yes, we aim for realism, but we also make sure that it's a game, you know, so we have to make sure that players can see. Um, but overall, I think it's an artistic difference between both. Now, GT7 was money hungry with microtransactions. I'm not saying Forza isn't. Um, the cars are very expensive, but like I said before, the risk versus reward, how much you earn in these races makes up for it compared to GT7. I've, I've been able to buy a good amount of cars so far in the game. And compared to GT7, that took me days and days to even afford another car. Um, I think Microsoft done a better job. And I heard that DLCs like tracks, like additional tracks will be free. Uh, so that's a thumbs up for Xbox on this one. Overall, I'm having a phenomenal time. If there's any update that ruins this game or, or makes the game better, I will be covering it through YouTube Shorts or my TikToks. But overall, I'm having a good time. If you're on Xbox Game Pass, what the heck are you doing? Go download this game and enjoy it. It is not like Motorsports. I mean, it's not like Horizon. Or Horizon's an arcade racer. So just bear in mind, they are two different franchises. Motorsports and Horizon are two different things.